Hello everybody, as you might have heard, in the week of February 8th to 14th of 2021, Pakistan Navy hosted an event which is called Aman Exercises. This was a week-long event conducted by the Pakistan Navy and government, in which 45 countries are participating with ships, aircraft, special operation forces, maritime teams, observers in the 7th edition of the week-long exercise being conducted under the slogan Together for Peace, Amman. Now there are over 100 observant countries. Now what does observant countries? They, these countries are attending the World Navy function in which 50 to 45 countries are participating countries that are actively bringing their Navy vessels to the function. The event started on 11th February. This exercise hosts every two years among different countries. This time it was hosted in Pakistan Navy and Pakistan waters surrounding the coast. The miracle in hosting this event of, by Pakistan is that the miracle of hosting over 45 participating countries and over 100 observant nations in this event, which is a clear diplomatic victory. Another significant impact of this event is what Pakistan has done on the platform by calling so many different countries all together. They have merged the once East and Western navies, which are some countries are enemies of other countries, have brought together closeness to each other in the event and bring a theme of peace. Such as, to give an example, countries like Russia and China against America and other European countries are close brought togetherness in this event to talk about theme of peace. All of the above countries are being hosted in this event. Then there is also the Arab bloc and the Strait of Hormuz, which is a vital gateway to major traffic of cargo ships in and out. And this event is also hosting and controlling and, and bringing together ideas into the foreseeable future. Also, the major traffic between the Strait of Hormuz, the traffic of oil is exported through a very narrow strip through the smaller nations such as Dubai and Qatar and Kuwait where they supply the rest of the world with oil, oil cargo ships and it has to be observed and organized in a safe passageway throughout the route. Now there is the birth of the very huge Gwadar port which connects the CPEC and routes to the Central Asian countries such as Uzbekistan and Tajikistan and Azerbaijan etc. which is a major supply route as it is developing currently. And the Gwadar seaport also connects the Strait of Hormuz, which connects the major oil supply routes in the same area as well as the CPEC route. So one can see the significance of this event and geographic region. This route not only connects the eastern African states through this route, but also the Southeast Asian countries as well. That is the significance of this geographic area. It is the heart and supply center of most of the major countries of the world. Also the Malacca Strait via the Indian Ocean also connects this route over here as well. This 
geographic region gives Pakistan to host so many different countries which are at border disputes along coastal routes to give significant importance of hosting enemy and foe and other neutral countries all together in the same platform. Pakistan is also hosting this event to bring a theme of peace and also to enhance its own Navy capabilities. But by hosting this event, you can imagine the experience the Pakistan Navy has gotten just by carrying out this event. As they are hosting the event, Pakistan Navy is also including newer submarines, destroyers, and frigates from all over the world. And there is the induction of Type 54 frigate, which has also launched last week in the Chinese ports, which is state-of-the-art frigate, rivaling no other technology-driven frigate in the World Navy. And Pakistan has two of these Type 54s in its Navy. By hosting this event, Pakistan is gaining professional experience and skills through bringing together three superpower navies, such as China, Russia, and America, close together and working with them in order to improve its navy. Another significant thing about the event is Russia, for the first time, is participating with NATO countries in the event. And Russia sent one of its most advanced secret uh, destroyers to the event for all to see for the first time. The presence of Russian Navy will also bring Pakistan and Russia closer together in future. Working with so many countries together in the event, what this will do for Pakistan will it will bring interoperability closer together in carrying out any future events or obstacles. What else will this event bring for Pakistan? is the future defense cooperation among the countries participating will bring further expansion to Pakistan Navy for future purpose. And the biggest signal this event gives is to India, where India tried to host an event with only three countries, namely Australia, Japan, and United States. And then they tried to call it, it was a world event. And this event completely overshadows that event. And it also signals India that not to mess with a country like Pakistan anymore. Where also India's Prime Minister continuously said in rhetoric statements that we will isolate Pakistan over and over again. But the way it, this event has shown that by India not participating in the event also, is Pakistan has isolated India consequently. And the way talking about Gwadar port and the Strait of Hormuz, the importance of Pakistan in this region gives credible defense purposes to protect and serve the interests of this region. And as you can see, all the efforts taken by India are going to a loss or to complete total failures. Pakistan has been given a God-given right, an important role in this geographic region, and therefore we should do everything in our power to bring this to the most significant role that we can provide.
by the Pakistan Navy and also bring peace to the region. And there are also reports that Pakistan is inducting more frigates from the Turkish dockyards, which will give a significant boost to its navy. And any country that tries to mess with Pakistan's navy will get a strong, stubborn reply. For f more information on Amman 2021, check out the links in the video description box. Enjoy this video? Then must have a look at these videos. Click like if you like the, today's video, click the red button to see more of the videos and hope to see you next video.